Welcome to Reality Bites Back, where we serve up all the juiciest gossip and scandal from your favorite reality TV shows. Today, we're diving into the shocking story of 90 Day Fiancé's Big Ed Brown and Liz Woods. Was their relationship doomed from the start, or was Big Ed simply using Liz for his own gain? Stay tuned as we uncover the truth behind this jaw-dropping tale of love, deception, and betrayal. Don't touch that dial, because Reality Bites Back starts now. Big Ed Brown from the 90 Day Fiancé franchise had always shown signs he'd give up on Liz Woods. The San Diego man was enthusiastic about finding true love when he joined 90 Day, the single life season one. He was dating Liz and knew she'd be his great partner. Unfortunately, things didn't go as Ed anticipated. He tried his best to build a stable relationship, but eventually broke up with Liz. A year later, Ed returned to the show. He dated a few women, but ultimately reconciled with Liz because of his strong chemistry with her. Ed and Liz's 28-year age gap became a big problem in their relationship. In 2022, Ed got jealous of Liz and failed to trust her. At the same time, Liz struggled with her emotions and couldn't build a decent relationship with Ed's family. In 2023, the couple moved away from San Diego and settled in Arkansas. They planned for their wedding and sought therapy in 90 Day, the last resort. Unfortunately, things again didn't go as they had planned. The couple continued to argue about the smallest issues, which pushed Ed to call off the wedding. Ed's actions over the last three years alluded to his eventual breakup with Liz. He didn't care much about her, resulting in their unstable relationship. One of the key factors contributing to the instability was the frequency of their breakups. Over just three years, Ed and Liz parted ways over a dozen times, a testament to the tumultuous nature of their relationship. From their first split in their debut season to when Ed called off the wedding, he had broken up with her nearly 15 times. Ed should have avoided Liz if he wanted to break up with her. However, he purposely reconciled with her, giving her false hope that things would improve next time. Ed's narcissistic approach toward the relationship suggests that he psychologically manipulated Liz. He accused her of making mistakes, pushing her to feel guilty. Ed never really improved himself or changed for Liz. Instead, he tried his best to make her change for him, which worked well. The breakups impacted Liz psychologically, which may be why she could not break free from their relationship. TLC star Ed disappointed Liz throughout their three-year relationship. He asked her to achieve unrealistic goals just to keep him happy. In 2022, Ed wanted Liz to drop even more weight. He made her feel insecure about her body and asked her to look like a stereotypical model when she was already incredibly fit and beautiful. It was a terrible move on Ed's part because Liz accepted him with all his flaws. She loved Ed unconditionally even when he felt insecure about having Klippelfail syndrome. Liz also embraced Ed despite his behavioral problems. Ed's actions over the years also made it look like he actively tried to delay his wedding with Liz. Most 90-day fiancé couples get into a relationship for marriage. However, Ed dated Liz because of his selfish needs and never really tried to speed up the wedding process. Ideally, Ed and Liz should have tied the knot two years ago. However, Ed never showed a lot of excitement about his marriage. He delayed fixing his issues with Liz. He then pushed the engagement date ahead and postponed the wedding by planning to move to Arkansas. Liz made a lot of sacrifices for Ed in their short-lived relationship. However, Ed rarely reciprocated her efforts and used her niceness to his advantage. In 2022, Liz got a major job opportunity when her restaurant owner asked her to be a partner. It was a major promotion and something that would have been financially beneficial. Sadly, Ed didn't support the idea. He felt it was selfish of Liz to even think about it. He said, one day she's like, we're moving and the next day, oh no, I got offered a partnership. 
Ultimately, Ed succeeded when Liz agreed to move to Arkansas. She gave up on the job opportunity just to settle with him. Apart from the career, Liz also sacrificed her life in San Diego for her Ed. She moved to his hometown, leaving behind everything she had built in San Diego. When Ed left Liz after a minor argument, he hurt her. He chose to give up on the relationship without realizing how much Liz had sacrificed for him by moving to a different state and giving up her promotion. Ed's actions prove he used Liz for over three years. He got into a relationship but didn't build a family quickly. Instead, he delayed 